But that login could be an individual or it could be a group. It really is dependent on how you set it up. So the event log shows it's you? Yes. And show all it will stand with me. Do. I've done it. I did that by name. Okay. Um, now, let me, um, let's restore all this. Let's get rid of these things. Yeah, and let's get rid of these. Yeah, okay, so it's, it, it looks a bit better now. But I'm still logged in. Note what, note what's happened here. I've got three big buttons rather than two. I've still got my function options. I've got user options, but now I've got engineering options. I, I've got access level three rights, effectively. Now, <coughs> before I go into engineering options, because there's obviously a lot more going on in there, let me show you my function options. Remember, there were there were four buttons under access the previous login. I've got ten. In fact, you can have 24 programmable buttons per user, and they could all be different. Okay? So you program the system according to that user, that user with a specific login, or group of users. You know, if it's gatehouse people or security people, they might all have the same login, or you might choose to give them different logins. Just showing you the fact that each login can have a different, you know, completely different options and access to completely different parts of the system. Um, Drill into the engineering options, lots of things, there's even a second page and that's growing all the time, there'll be more op engineering options that we can offer you. Effectively you can more or less program the whole system from here. If it was a pretty simple system it, you, you probably wouldn't even need to use a laptop and a configuration software. Let me just show you a couple of the options. Under configuration we can import or export the configuration, we can edit the configuration, it asks us what we want to edit, panel settings, panel inputs, panel outputs. Panel modules, tiles. <coughs> Let's select panel inputs. It gives us a list of all the panel inputs we've got. Yeah. Uh, let's take programmable input one. And here we can set attributes. We can map it to a zone. We can latch it or not. So it's latched or it's not. What the fault? What the input action is? It's a fault. What the message is? There's no message in there. So let's call it. Now we call it Kentech, yeah. So you put in, you can either put it in or edit the message that's already there. Given a QWERTY keyboard on the on the front of the screen, obviously makes that a lot easier for modifying and adding. We can bypass delays that have been set on the system. Um, here's an interesting uh, additional feature: we can invert an input. Um, what we mean by that is, um, currently an input would need to be activated to set the event off in the panel. You actually deactivate it if you invert it. Normally close, almost like dead man's handle, fail safe, that sort of thing. Yeah. The other interesting thing, I'm, I'm looking at inputs here. You can do the same with outputs. You can configure outputs the same way. You can also invert outputs. A, a typical example of that might be turning a sounder circuit into a door holder circuit, where it's operated all the time and the voltage disappears. When there's an alarm condition. So that's an, a, an interesting little feature we've added into the thing. We can add delays to, to the device, um, uh, to the input if we want, and then we can submit it and store that information. Okay? And you can do that for any input or output. I've just chosen panel inputs there. You can do it for devices if we had loop devices on there, etc. Um, etc. Et so um, that gives you a good sort of overview of what the user interface is like. Um, one other thing I wanted to do while I was in there, just wanted to set the date and time. Anybody got the date? 19th? 19th. October? Yep. Time? Half 10. <coughs> half. <coughs> oh, God, sorry. Half 10. Half 10. Yeah, half 10. That output inversion thing, that would have worked well for you guys at Basildon, wouldn't it? Do you remember all the issues that they had at Basildon Hospital? Yeah. With keeping the, the outputs energised? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You could do that for any, yeah. any input or any output. That's just down to sub-device. 